Welcome back guys. Today we are playing The Glass Staircase. It's another game by Puppet Combo. Um, I believe it's based on another PS2 game. I wouldn't be too sure what game it is. I really haven't haven't seen it before. Um, I just know it has some kind of it has like a hint of Resident Evil 2. Um, I know it has like the same sequence of door opening and like fixed camera angles type of thing. So I think that would be really fun to do and I've been having fun with all the pop combo games that I've been playing lately. So let's go ahead and get started. New game, your progress will be erased. I do not have any progress. Continue. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this is the beginning. The game was like trying to rat me out, pretending like... <laughs> pretending like I had already played it. I mean, I have seen a few things. Otherwise, I wouldn't be interested in it. But to be fair, I'm pretty interested in all the puppet combo games right now. In case that there are any voice lines I don't want to get, I, I don't want my voice to be, to talk over them. So I'm gonna keep it down for now. My heart rate is already at 115. Okay. Oh. Oh shit. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, this is fucking hard to control. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, I like the physics. Okay, so. Just press W and move, like, face her to the direction you want with the mouse. That's a little bit hard to do, but whatever. Hi, lady! What you looking at? What you looking at there? What you looking out there? Huh? Huh? Look at me. You shouldn't go. Okay. <laughs> I'll go ahead and stay here with you for eternity. <laughs> There's something. Take your tablet. Is that like medicine or are you talking about like technology tablet? <laughs> like an iP iPad type of bullshit or a Samsung Tab S. Attention all, attention all. This is the state. Helen, if you haven't already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We prepared a new task for you. The letter on the table will have further directions. Remember. That's creepy. Good girls take their medicine. Good girls do their chores. Good girls go home. That is all, ladies. <laughs> um, that's not sketchy at all. What you doing here? They picked you, Helen. <clears throat> Helen, I can't wait to go home myself. That sounds like they're killing them off or something. A musty wardrobe. Nothing of interest. Okay. Sup, Eleven. She's bald. <laughs> Poor boy. I hope I'm next. <laughs> yeah, she's not gonna last long. Okay, um, should I take my tablet? No. No, I'm not gonna take it. I don't wanna. I'm a grown girl. Oh, I'm just checking. 
The glass is empty. Oh, so all the other girls already took their tablets? It's locked? What do you mean it's locked? Do I have to take the tablet then? Okay, let's take it. Oh, I didn't have to. Um, okay. Oh, now it's letting me. So I guess I had to take it. Then why are you even asking me in the first place if I want to take it? If you're gonna force me to do it anyways. Dining hall. Oh, let's. I like that music. I could get into it. Wait a minute. Nothing of interest. I feel ya. An empty cabinet. Nothing useful here. Okay. There's something shining over there. Oh, that's right. I, I heard there's a lot of reading to do here, too. I'll try my best. Uh, my, my mouth still hurts from the dental work I had done earlier this week, but I'll try my best. <clears throat> a letter addressed to Martin M. Tatum. That sounds... Uh, that sound you were hearing, the one at night in your dreams. That's uh, that one. Hold on, I, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, that one that's been ringing in your head. That music's loud. Since our days in the trenches, it never went away, did it? Mine either. Martin, it's starting to make sense. There's been this heat between us. JK, um, I felt all the way. Uh, I felt that all the way in Scottsdale. It's been burning in me for months, filling my head with dreams, beautiful dreams. They've been telling me where to go. Sure, I was worried I was crazy, but I have met others along the way. We all have seen it, all felt it. It's not some made-up illness they have given it to. Uh, they have given to us. It's something real. This beautiful machine. It opens doors. Sounds like an automatic door. <laughs> um, I have seen it in my dreams and I think I need to find it. I think it's where we are headed. This is something so much larger than I thought. Martin? This is so much longer than I thought, Martin. <laughs> longer than I, could, um, than I could ever dream. If your dreams have been speaking to you as well, then you owe it to yourself. Come to the, uh, come to the address marked down on this envelope. In some manner that I have seen the eyes open above. Come with us. It's going to be so beautiful. Sincerely, Lieutenant Grayson Dobbs. This sounds like a cult. Am I imagining it? <laughs> Probably a bedroom, it's locked. Okay. Let's go another direction then. The dining hall is probably downstairs. That's a cabinet. Look like a door. Could be a box. I don't know. <laughs> up, up. <laughs> Just imagine someone running against a fucking pillar in real life. What's that? Oh, a door! See, it has the, the door sequence. The door opening sequence from RE2. No, not, not just Resident Evil 2, like Resident Evil. Regular Resident Evil, Resident Evil 3. Hi there. Excuse me, I'm stuck on a chair. Excuse me while I'm stuck on a chair. Oh my god, another fucking letter. Helen! <clears throat> but your time here has been short. It is still important that you can be determined as reliable. <laughs> as reliable. We would like you to begin tending the front garden of the state twice a day. 
uh, twice a day you will need to feed and water the flower the flower bed as well as maintain the hedges all the sounds that are happening right now are tripping me out we're willing to trust the staff to you Ooh. as you have been very regular in taking your medicine where some where some of the other girls are somewhat unreliable you can't expect your parents to want you back if you're unreliable can you to the situate the others from running about outside, we have hidden the key beneath the downstairs piano. Please return it when you're done each day, and be sure to let no one of your other girls of the other girls see you. You're a good girl, Helen. You're a good girl. A dusty base. Okay. So this is the dining hall? That's pretty fucking sad. I think I'm not gonna check on the wardrobes anymore. There's like nothing ever there. G Fuel everybody? Or like G Fuel anyone? Um, an empty cabinet and I keep on checking them. Okay, where's the, the old and rusty piano that they were talking about? Holy shit, where am I? Uh, is this it? Okay. There's no door there. I like the... Oh, I can open it. I wasn't expecting that. Grandfather clock, it no longer works. How long have I been here? <laughs> now that we mentioned time, how long have I been here? Okay, the piano is playing. Is it, is it playing on its own? It's locked. was the piano. It was actually the piano. Someone just lapped it or something. It's like, shut up, piano. We don't like your kind here, piano. Oh, oh, oh. There's something here. A journal. God damn it. No. Oh. <laughs> Okay, November 11, 1918. Edward at last returned home for the Great War. I uh, give thanks to the Lord for his safe return from Germany. To think... From the Great War? This is 1918, the Second World War... The Second World War had not even happened. I think it started in like 1930? Or late 1930? Whatever. I give thanks to the Lord for his safe return from Germany to think that just days before he was ripped from me to be a doctor in the war we were married he's returning to his job at Queen Mary's Hospital in London oh, I thought it was gonna be the shit what a dreadful drive it is back and forth day in and day out and with the epidemic that's been plaguing uh, the countryside well I worry for his health. God willing, he'll be alright as he helps those poor souls. My husband hasn't been the same since he went back to work. For weeks, uh, he's been spending more time in the basement than the rest of the house. He, does, he doesn't even come to, uh, to bed most nights. Sounds like we have a fucking serial murderer in, in the house. I sometimes find him asleep down there in his lab. Holy shit, he has a lab. Asleep on his desk. And during the day, no less. I asked him if, if he himself should visit the hospital for a checkup, but he brushed it off, saying how he's a doctor and he knows better than me. Ooh. I can't help but fret, though. 
No, I can help with Fred, though. He barely touches the, the meals Maria makes him. He used to love her cooking so very much. I fear she and the rest of the hired help are worried as well. March 4th, 1919. Uh, if the world is, is to know anything from me, of me from this journal, let it, let it be that I have always been an understanding wife. The love I have felt for Edward in all of our years together has never waned. Not in the loneliness and uncertainty of the war, and not in the new growing void between us. This void of obsession. As many fears, um, as many fears as I've had, I have always put the rational aside. Uh, the rational aside when I heard him assured us that these experiments were necessary and that they were going to repair what fate his colleagues had in his ideas. Perhaps even save the lives of so many more that still suffer from horrible affliction. Spectacular at thought, spectacular at thought as that may be, his words were uh, his words were all I had during the war, and that they are all I have now. The faith his promises provided me, however, is becoming too worn to, uh, to be any new comfort. Though it was far against his will, I have been privy to the growing scope of his work for a while now. What started off as the same treatments as experiments that I have uh, that I have followed him through for the years has become something else entirely. Large horrible structures that um, have been his focus for some time now. They look as mechanical as any transport I have seen, but their shapes are much more ornate. The iron that holds their frames has, has been carved so de deliberately with the hellish shapes. Though they resemble something, I am beyond being able to describe exactly what. To call these metal shells sinister would be admitting I even understand what they are and what they are supposed to accomplish. This is far from any medicine that I have known that I have known him to practice. But he continues with his cold, affirming responses. His distance, uh, his, distance <clears throat> his distance only seems to widen from his work and from his sciences that he swears by. But I can only sit as idle as I can swearing some hope that his plans are going as he says. It is hard to ignore the things I'm hearing in the night, the murmurs of the help as they come to me for some kind of assurance, expecting that I know my husband's actions half as well as good as a uh, wife should, period. <laughs> I have nothing for them but the promises that he gives me. He's a doctor, he knows what he's doing. Nothing I say to them can be said in confidence anymore. I may be I may be an understanding wife, but there are limits to even my understanding. Jesus fuck that was long. Oh piano, oh there it is. So someone just slapped this piano right here. Or someone was playing it. And then they were like, oh shit, it's just coming. <laughs> and then they just hit. Okay, there it is. Did she just fucking move the piano by herself? Oh, what's in your legs? Leggings. Uh, an old key, pick it up. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, hold on a second. Okay. Now we can go to the garden, right? <sighs> okay. 
so this looks like the main entrance you have unlocked it to save. Attention all, attention all. This is the state. Betty, if you have already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We have prepared a new task for you. The letter on the table with it will have further directions. Remember, good girls, Take their medicine, good girls do the chores, good girls go home. Okay, this is a fucking sect or something. Or, or that sick bastard is using them for experiments, for the experiments that his wife was talking about in her journal. Okay, so I guess the the girl that I was using just died? Yeah, I'm, I'm a different one now. I don't have the ponytails anymore. What do you remember about your parents? Helen didn't make it far. Don't believe what they're telling you. Okay, at least this girl right here, she's she's pretty skeptical of what's happening right now. She's the only one who's gonna make it alive. Eleven, in the other hand, she was all like, Oh boy, I can't wait to be picked. Did you hear those sounds last night? It was pretty weird. Yeah, it was the, the the like the first girl that was getting that got murdered that never came back. Okay, hold on. Oh, Betty, fine. Status option. Okay, they're not. Where's my medicine? The glass is empty. Um, that's not mine. Oh, take your tablet. Okay, I want to see what happens if I say... No, is it gonna let me out? Hold on, hold on. No longer works. <laughs> this little girl just remembered that time exists, too. Like, you know what? How long has it been since I've been here? Oh, wait, they let me out without my tablet. Coolius. Uh oh, so they're picking them off one by one. Great. Uh, so I'm supposed to go to the dining room table thing, right? It's still locked. Wait, 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 what? A door to the balcony. It's locked. And somehow I was floating. Okay, at least I know this girl has floating abilities. Um, just making sure I'm actually recording. <laughs> okay, nothing upstairs. Excuse me. What the fuck is that sound? Wait, so the first girl was told to go to the garden and she got horribly murdered. Oh, here's the... Okay. A letter, read it. Betty, that's her. Early this morning, a package arrived from you uh, from an unconfirmed courier. The matter cannot be expected to assume responsibility for such a delivery. But! As a courtesy, we aren't informing you to retrieve it. Please do this immediately. Lest something happen to your delivery. What a fucking dick. Uh, that would be a terrible shame. Especially if it were from your mother. Okay. So, those are my instructions. Wait, 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 wait. Um, what was it? This a minute. So there's a word for me to retrieve it. We'll do it. Or something else. Where is it though? No. 
Where is it now? I hear stuff. I don't know if you guys can hear that. As a matter of fact, hold on a second. I don't want it to. I kind of don't want the sound to overpower my voice. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, she's still fine. All right, we're good. We're good, guys. It's all good, dog. Okay, they told me to pick it up, but pick it up where? Okay, just came out from there. That one's locked. This one's open. There's an, another fucking journal. This lady likes to like fucking grab some pages of her journal and throw them all over the fucking place. June 24, 1999. There are a great many things I have been, I have been able to overlook in my role as a lady of the house. The awful sounds, the confusing orders my husband has given the help, the smells. Maybe you, you guys should use some deodorant. Oh, the unholy smells. None of this is terribly unfamiliar to his work. The, the extremes to which he is willing to push my familiarity with medicine as the reasoning is starting to make me think he, himself, is losing touch with reality. What I haven't been able to ignore is the heat. Many nights I have laid awake in my empty bed simply watching the window as this terrible heat overtakes my body. Not a heat that can be felt in the air, but something more intense. Almost like a fever, but not quite. As it doesn't it doesn't radiate from me, merely finds its nest in my body. Burning for hours on end. Nothing I do seems to fight it off to fight off this sensation sensation. No medication I can find from Edwards Records. No salve or, applica uh, or application I can find. I have taken to simply shutting my sleepwear and starting out into the night, hoping it passes. Oh my god. As much as I want to believe this is merely my mind deceiving my body, the determinant nature of this illness coincides far too closely with the continuation of Edward's perverse sciences. Comma. <laughs> if they, if they even are to be considered uh, considered sciences, a trillion dollars um, anymore. Period. Uh, the longer I permit him to continue his work, the further away his his is drawn into it, and I have no proper recourse. This is our life, and I'm as responsible as he is. At this point, uh, as as he is at this point, and I have become to understand, and I have come to understand that whatever he's come to study, whatever his illness is, it certainly isn't what he had once fought to cure. It's taken its toll on his body as well as mine. And I fear our housekeepers are starting to feel the similar dredge. Be it this illness or something more akin to dread. Beyond that, the night sky has such a terrible glow as of late. Where I a more super, superstitious woman, I may perceive this as some kind of omen of ill fate. But I am as married to the rational world as, as I was when I met Edward. Still, a great part of me wishes he were, he were here during these horrid nights. 
he used to be able to comfort me. We would be able to see this terrible glow and talk it away as something beautiful. Maybe the beauty is gone. Maybe my husband is gone. Burr, burr, burr. Okay. So the husband seems to be losing his mind with some crazy ass with some crazy ass um, experiments that he's doing with these girls. I wonder why. Wait, is the front door now open? Yes it is. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Hey, no knock. Because when the other girl died, or was taken away, or whatever, sh I heard some knocks on the door before she opened them. And then she was like, <gasps> It's raining cats and dogs, everyone. myself I think I hear something I do not like the music that's playing right now it's creepy as fuck a corn maze! It's not corn, but still, it's a maze. Oh. <laughs> I thought I could keep going. Okay. Nothing here. So I guess I can go in this direction. Uh oh! This girl is gonna die in here. A wet note. Read it. Okay, thank you. Only one page. We have seen the eyes. Have we not? We have all felt the heat that powered us here. There is only... There is only the one feeling we have all shared. And now we must wait. The wait may be hard. It may be unforgiving. But we must wait. The dreams continue to speak through us. We have seen the doors open. The eye that follows us from the parted clouds showing us the path to our salvation. The engine that will free us from the binds of the false prophets and bring our savior to us. <laughs> we must wait. As the doctor makes our dreams their reality, we know what they are. <laughs> we must wait. The rest is missing. I don't know what it is. Okay. So the doctor's working for some set or for some kind of group. Or the doctor promised them something. Oh. 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 What the fuck? Where the heck am I? It's an infinite wait.
Wait a minute. Am I going in circles? Oh, I don't think I have seen this. Oh, look, look, look. It's a package. Carried it back inside? Yes. I have a package. I have a package in my hands. Wait. What the hell is it even doing here? Oh. I think they lured her outside. Okay, that's not creepy at all. I think they lured her outside to, like, get... To like get her to what the fuck I can't go in there okay whatever oh she's so fucking dead right now you are so dead what was that what was that what Wait, what? What? It changed! That was the exit! That was the fucking exit! Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh no. Wait a minute. What? What is this? What the fuck? This wasn't here. Oh! What the fuck is that? That was fucking humongous. Look like fucking um what? Tyrant? Holy shit. Is that the same thing that got the first girl? Attention all, attention all, this is the state. Dorothy, if you have already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We have prepared a new task for you. The letter on the table would have further instructions. Remember, we are all fucking creepy and we are demeaning you by saying good girls. <laughs> okay, same shit. That's kind of weird to read. Oh look, it's Eleven. Okay, Eleven's name is Dorothy. That's her real name, even in Stranger Things. Okay, so do you have like kinetic powers and shit? We're the last two, I guess. She's picking up on what's what's happening. She knows what's up. Okay. Man, that sound. I really hope the game is not overpowering my voice. something unusual I'm not sure if that sound was intended that thing's still locked I'm sorry I just need to check everything I door to the balcony and it's locked okay 
guys so we're going downstairs I think that's the dining hall I wonder if all these sounds that I've been hearing with all the girls are the ones that the journals have been speaking of Uh, this is definitely not where I was supposed to go. Now that's locked. Locked. Oh, that one's working. Okay. <sighs> oh. Oh. Did she put the key back in here? No, she's that a shit. Okay. All right, eleven. What do I press to? What do I press to have your fucking psychic powers work? That's locked. The look of the game is also changing. Okay, there was nothing there. Uh, maybe here? No, it's that one over there. I gotta get my instructions, right? Okay, there are fucking um, gigantic monsters in this house and shit. Just a dusty. Wait, what? There are two keys. A ring of keys. Pick up the keys? Yes. Yes, please. A uh, letter. Read it. Yes. Dorothy. We have begun entering the later year, and as such, our daylight hours are getting shorter. We'll be entrusting you to light all the manners candles before nightfall as well as snuffing them out in the morning this is a large responsibility but we trust that you are more than capable of handling uh, of handling it um, we all must do our part here you're such a responsible young lady Dorothy surely your family will be glad to have you home Okay. Okay, fucking weirdos. All right, light up the candles. Um, I don't see any candle. A vase, a vase. Light up the candles. I got keys. Does that give me access to you the entire house? Okay, I know this one was locked. Aha! We have unlocked it. Okay. Alright. <gasps> what is this? What? No! I was looking at the pants! Or was there a secret door behind him? Nope! Seems like the hitbox of that fucking door is pretty big and long enough to like reach the the pan. Okay. Um nothing here. There's a candle. Just a candle. Nothing interesting. A box of matches. Will you take it? Yes. Okay, now we can light up the candles. Yes. I don't like that sound. What? How? Ooh, ooh. I can hear the screams. I don't know if you guys can hear that. You, if you're using headphones, you probably can can hear it. Holy shit! This game is getting fucking crazy. I love it. <gasps> I heard something. 
What was that? What was that? <laughs> Spinning in <laughs> a wet box. Oh, is that the box from um, Betty? I think. I think that's what her name was. The contents have been removed. A vase. I hear screams. They're like very, very faint screams. Wait, what? This seems to lead to the porch. It's locked. Ooh, I unlocked that. I, I think I know where this is gonna take me. Yes. So, where are the candles at? Any candles out here? Seems really fucking dark. So, lamp. Okay, you have lamps and you're fucking using candles. I think you're either stingy or stingy, <laughs> stingy or okay. I unlocked something, but don't let me go in here. I think this is the piano room, right? Oh, 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 oh! There is a candle. That's my job. I'm the candle lighter. I will not rest. Until all the candles are shining bright like a diamond. Okay. Okay, going back out. I wonder if this is gonna affect my my progress without uh, with that last girl or something. Because I'm sure eleven is about to go down. <laughs> All of the sudden, that fucking gigantic monster is just gonna get me right now. Oh, oh, oh. He's in the second floor. Um, candle. Okay. Light up the candle. Yes. I'm a professional candle lighter. I went to candle school. How long has it been here? No, how long have I been here? Okay. 70 years of studying the proficiency of candles. Um. Okay, seems like. Oh, <gasps> I can go out. Please don't kill me. Is it night time? Are the candles too light out here? Candle? Candle? No, it's just a sofa. Candle? Candle? Candles. Come on, candle, 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 candles. Excuse me, sir. Do you have some time to, to talk about some candle lighting? Uh, this seems to go under the- <gasps> that's, the, the, that's the fucking basement. That's the basement. I don't think I'm supposed to be out here. Yeah. Okay, I think it's just really dark right now. Okay, I'm gonna go to the second floor and see... See if there are any candles to light up there. Wait a minute, that thing in the that thing is in the second floor. I shouldn't be going up there. But guess what? We didn't care that there are fucking demons out there. They're probably just complaining about the candles not being lit either. Um uh, Okay. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I remember this place. There was nothing. It's just the base. Nothing useful. Okay. Excuse me, demons. Excuse me. Candles? 
candles. Sir, do you have any candles to light? <gasps> can I go in here? Yes, I can. Okay, hold on. Um, this is the pocket. Still locked. Okay, no candles to light there. Um, <gasps> I think this is the room that was that that was right above us when we heard that the fucking steps. Hi, candle. Nice to meet you. I'm in Levin. A journal. Read it. <gasps> okay. A crowd of strange men and women have been congregating outside of the mansion for days. See, see, see. Told ya, guys. Told ya. Ja. Uh, there must be at least 20 or more of them. They all have almost glassy eyes and the palest skin. I'm sorry, my English is not my my native language, so I haven't heard a few words yet. Um, they all have, uh, they all have almost glassy. I oh, know, yeah, I already, already read that. They don't seem to eat, not nor drink, nor do they react to the bitter winds outside. They stand about, shuffling here and or there. Sometimes they sit, sometimes they sleep, but most importantly, they protect. JK, uh, but mostly they just stand, trying to look inside the windows or knock on the door. Bartholomeo, which is in Spanish, which sounds weird in English, so I'm gonna say it in Spanish, and William have already quit because of it. I would have fucking quit too. I can't pretend to blame them. I have asked them what they want, and they just tell me they want to see Edward. Why do these people want to see my husband? He won't even see me, let alone strangers. I have only seen him once since August. Holy shit, you have problems. I would have called the cops already. Uh, he was moving boxes throughout the back door of the manor. He yelled at me to get away. <laughs> I could just imagine him going like, <laughs> with the box in the hands. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> to get away and I did as he said I'm afraid I have nowhere to go what the fuck my god I have heard gunshots not from the outside from my uh, from the house not from their basement six shots and agitated yelling from my husband and I um, I and the servants, brave enough to venture out of the rooms, rushed to the basement door and called for him. There was a terrible begging at the door, the four, then four more shots. I heard something fall down the stairs before my husband screamed at us to get away. He almost sounded scared, or worse, relieved. I can't... I'm actually getting tired of fucking reading like this. Ooh, I think there's people seeing me out there. <laughs> I think some people can see me out of my windows. <laughs> so they probably should see the crazy guy fucking talking to the screen. Um, I could just keep pretending that there's something I can salvage from this. Uh, whatever he's doing is only growing on scale. And that horrible hum that horrible hum form his damn machine is merely the chorus or the chorus <laughs> to the tragedy that I know call or that I now call or life got it work please November 8 1919 maybe what I knew of my husband and his work was always a lie so I think what I'm hearing in the background noise right now it's that fucking machine that she's talking about right now I'm saying right now a lot, so... Right now. <laughs> I want to believe that something changed in him, perhaps during the war, perhaps in his need to find an end to this plague. As we understood it, <clears throat> we used to speak of all kinds of things for a future, and maybe it was simple, rather yet complicated. 
um, perhaps even idealized, but they were a dream that we could both see so clearly. I can't seem to see that dream anymore. Uh, the world is buried beneath nothing but the agony I felt when I last saw his cold, dead eyes. Eyes not far, uh, not far removed from the gangs of shambling lunatics that gather at outdoors at all hours. Perhaps there is a new illness that I, that I nor any of our help has heard of. It's not as, as if I have had the opportunity to live this prison in so long. The whole world could be entrenched in, a, in another great war, for as far as I could know. A prison. Wait, in another prison. That's as far as... What? I think I fucked up. You, you, you guys get it. Uh, that's how far from those dreams of the future I have gone. The home that that we were to grow together has become nothing more than a prison that I live a uh, waking nightmare in. <clears throat> in. <laughs> Perhaps that waking nightmare is preferable to the ones that I see at night. On the, on the rare occasions, the heat doesn't return, shaking my every fiber awake. No fucking way. There's no doubt in my mind. <laughs> That he can no longer see the future, uh, that he, he can no longer see the future we once spoke so wistfully of. I doubt he can see much of anything anymore. He's in the dark side. Uh, nothing beyond that hellish engine he brought into our home. At first, I'd have been able to ignore the abominable signs that my husband has brought into our home, but with each night. There are new, terrible sounds, some mechanical, some horribly human, all completely unnatural. I am not a doctor, nor shall I ever hope to become one, but the godless acts Edwards has begun practicing in, and the droves of the mumbling madmen that now gather at our yard, in some kind of perverse congregation tell me that there is no longer hope in my heart that my husband is any more a man of science. If there were such a hope, it died with whatever, whatever, uh, whatever abominations he has taken to shooting in the dead of night. I no longer know if I fear my husband, but I am certain that I fear whatever the thing that has replaced him is. Edward has allowed himself to uh, has has allowed himself to be taken to hell, and I will doubtlessly be forced to follow. That's wait a minute. Look under. There's some light flashing right below us. Um, just the bed. A first aid kit. Heal yourself. Am I hurt? No. I'm not hurt. There's a candle. Does that mean I'm about to be hurt? <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Alright. Everything's making better sense now. So he's just using the girls. That's about it can go out in the balcony. Can I go back in my room? Should I go back in my room? May I please go back in my room? I'm not what? I'm not allowed in? Really now? I don't know where else to go. I have pretty much been everywhere. I don't 
know if something was supposed to happen there. Oh, okay. I didn't realize there was a door there. Candles? Excuse me. Professional candle lighter incoming. A what? No. God damn it. Okay, so I guess this is from like the cult that was out there. And the Lord saith unto me, Go out into the maze, into the masses, and preach my word. For the kingdom of heaven is but a lie. Indeed, this a lie. A lie! The God of our forefathers is dead. And in his place will be awakened our new Lord. We will awaken our new Lord. Excuse me. One better Lord from below. Below. We will arise. Arise! And take this moldering world of man. My brothers and sisters, our salvation lies in the Dr. Edwards, in Dr. Edward Sullivan. Forgive me again. Prophet of the new world. Of the new world. Not world. Just word. For our lives do we owe to him. <laughs> okay. How are these notes in here? Oh! Sounds like something dangerous is about to happen to me. I thought I saw something upstairs. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm scared. Ah! <laughs> I mean, ah! Oh. Could have moved out of the way. Holy fucking shit, there's that thing. Is that Edward? <laughs> okay. I think that was Ed Guard. <laughs> no, it's Edward. Oh, auto save? Okay, cool. Oh, look at her. She's equipped. I haven't been taking any fucking tablets. Huh. I don't follow your rules. Take your tablet. Nah. I'm just mad as well not take them at all. How about that? How about that? Oh, I think we're already over an hour. Hmm. You know what, guys? I will go ahead and stop it right here. I think it just saved, so that would be great if it actually did. Okay, so this is our last girl, so I'm guessing the the end of the game is coming up. So, I'll go ahead and leave it here for now. Oh, look, her name is Margaret. She's the only that's going to actually live because she was being a skeptic about everything. <laughs> Unlike the other girls, so it's just like, oh boy, I can't wait to go home. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a second part for this Friday. Um, in case you haven't heard yet, I, uh, I changed my schedule, so I'm uploading new horror gaming videos on Mondays and Fridays, so twice a week now. And I'm just gonna be doing random streams every now and then whenever something important happens. Um, well, other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe. I will keep on, obviously, making videos every Monday and Friday. Um, let's see if you want to, if you have any, you know, if you have any suggestions, anything, any comments, any, anything like that, please let me know down in the comments. Talk to me. I will respond. <laughs> if you have any, any game that you would like me to play, don't hesitate to let me know as well. I will gladly do that. 
and um, or try to make it happen um, you know leave a like please subscribe <laughs> but if not I do hope to see you guys on Friday till next time